Hello students, this is Professor Patty from 626. It is February 7th at 8 p.m. and I am just laying eyes on the edits to our final syllabus for the semester. Not typical for us to have edits, but we did get the heads up that this is gonna happen at the beginning of January. So I'm gonna show you my screen and I'm gonna tell you we don't have final information until Saturday, because I'm gonna actually physically print these out, line them up side by side and do a little conversion before I release our final version of it. So I'm screen sharing, you don't wanna see that. You wanna see my two syllabi. So my two syllabi, I've screened, I've um, scrolled down to page. This is the one that is new with a black background and white text. And this is the one that is existing that we're working off of. So we've got some discrepancies in <laughs> which assignments are due, how much they're worth, what we're even doing. Um, but it's following the same general. So I want you to understand that my intention is not going to be to fail any of you. This is a small section to begin with. So we're gonna have plenty of time to, to work on things. Um, but really what they're looking at in the social work, in the assessment, in the summative review, in the way that they transitioned everything to demonstrate that we know that you are competent social workers upon graduation, they looked at every syllabus and um, rewrote how we do all the CPPK, A, B, C, one, two, threes, and how we relate each assignment to the skills that you're demonstrating. So that has changed in between the two syllabi um, where you're discussing each CPK, but really the section one, section two, and section three of your community plan, which is really the original, here are these dates, assign, assignment five and six of the community intervention plan and case analysis. It's breaking it down instead of saying like, here's your interview, here's your community, here's your maps, here's the SWATs. It's saying in your final one, you're going to frame your final paper through the lens of the social work competencies. So we will be breaking your final case analysis, which there's no mandatory thing here. We have a section one, which will have a due date, a section two, which will have a due date, and a section three that will have a due date. And I'm gonna go ahead and say our section three due date is probably gonna be May 5th because that's what you guys have already been planning on. Um, yeah, so we I will have due date and time here, what these segments are, how do we reflect on your personal values. This is very much the way I introduced the course um, before the semester started in my mini YouTube video. And so I don't think this is going to be a major shift from the perspective. If you guys have already met with me one-on-one, uh, -on -one, you have heard me say, what I want is for you to be able to understand how you exhibit these competencies already. And remember that the social work competencies are to be used with individuals, families, groups, and communities. So you already have the skills and we're talking about how you can describe the skills that you're using with your current community, with your current selected community. So Yay, um, I will be working on this all week and aim to have this out to you Saturday morning, the revised syllabus, and I will make a syllabus review video once we have it. So I apologize because I do recognize that this is uh, some weeks in to your final semester. I want to speak to that anxiety and say, we're going to work on it. You're going to graduate. And I'm going to try to make sure that any changes are a minor speed bump and not a total detour from um, the projects and planning you already have in place. So I will, I'm sure, be talking to you soon. Thanks.